hi and welcome to my very first wildlife photography vlog. Um, I just want to preface this by saying I am not an expert in wildlife photography by any means. In fact, I am a beginner, beginner. I am, you know, I am still learning myself. So anything that I might share that might be kind of like a tip. I don't even don't think I'll be sharing any of those but you know take them with a pinch of salt because I am just learning myself but I kind of felt like I wanted to start sharing it on my channel uh, especially because it fits in with my channel's theme at the moment of nature and wildlife and all that sort of stuff um, I've come to a local country park which is always a good place to see wildlife I'm hoping I will actually see something today and take some pictures that are worth sharing. Um, I'm here with my Canon EOS 80D which is um, my camera. <laughs> I don't really like it's a really good camera like I saved up a lot of money for it and you know it's pretty much my right-hand woman because I use it for um, a lot of my videos as well. I have with that uh, my 75 to 300 millimeter lens which is not the best for you know picture quality but it is a lens with a zoom which is pretty much what you need to get started with wildlife photography I think and it's been a good lens to learn the basics on. I'm hoping to kind of upgrade it relatively soon but you know it does the job. Um, <laughs> was that like an okay camera review? I don't really know like how they work. But yeah I'm gonna go around and see if I can find some wildlife to photograph and um, I don't really know how the format of this will work because I've watched a lot of vlogs of people who do wildlife photography and they like also film um, the wildlife but I don't have my tripod with me because I just yeah <laughs> so I'm really gonna struggle to film with my long lens uh, because for anyone who doesn't know to be able to film with a long lens a lot you need like a tripod because otherwise it's like so yeah I'm gonna just make up as I go along I think but yeah let's go <laughs> And it's actually a really beautiful day to um, come out to film, um, to photograph um, or just even to spend anything outside because it's about 27 degrees Celsius today. Sorry that I'm like this as well though is because I'm walking, the sun is literally right here. Um, anyway, uh, country parks like this are really good places to see wildlife um, because there's you know such a range of habitats from lots of you know, wooded spots and usually uh, country parks also have like bodies of water such as ponds or lochs or lakes to you non-Scottish people who might be watching. Uh, got a picture of a carrion crow so that's at least like one thing <laughs> I don't know how good the pictures are um, but yeah I'm one, one thing Oops. Corvids I, I've spoken about them before on my channel I love photographing uh, corvids such as crows and magpies and I think they're really lovely to photograph especially if you can get up close um, to their feathers to show like the amazing colours of their feathers. I feel like a lot of the time with wildlife photography your photographs get noticed a lot easier um, if it's like rare things you're taking pictures of um, or rare or even like popular animals whereas I feel like you know some of the nicest things to take pictures of are the you know more common things as well like I like taking pictures of pigeons and everything so yeah speaking of common there's some seagulls over here I might just try and get pictures of just you know for the sake of having more than one thing uh, 
like one uh, sort of unrelated question. Did anyone play Pokemon Snap when they were a kid? Because I am convinced that. Uh, 100% convinced that my love for like wildlife photography came from taking pictures of Pokemon on the Nintendo 64 when I was a kid and literally in my head all the time when I was taking pictures of animals is like Professor Oak being like you got more than one Pokemon in the frame well done <laughs> like I'm not I'm not exaggerating Professor Oak is in my head all the time when I'm photographing like <laughs> anyway <laughs> I just went to go and change my camera to my macro lens, which is just a standard uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens you get with the camera. Uh, because I found a butterfly, and I was like, that'll be a really nice picture. But by the time that I had got this out of my bag, it flew away. <laughs> So I went down to the lock, but there's literally like a hundred people <laughs> swimming in it. Um, so it kind of eliminates any chance of seeing any sort of wildlife that isn't seagulls. <laughs> so I've headed back into kind of the more wooded area in the hopes that I'll see something. I can hear things, just can't see them, which isn't helpful. <laughs> I'm just on my way out of the park. I'm gonna see a couple more shots. Don't know how good they're gonna be. Um. But I figured, you know, it wasn't the best day, but you got to also share the unsuccessful attempts as well, I guess. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd wrap the video up here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll maybe see you next time. <laughs> Bye.